we have no problem providing our police with uniforms. We have actually paid for the new uniforms, and the new uniforms are being done. I asked the principal secretary in charge of the State Department of Interior, Dr. Kibicho, who chairs the technical team on the police reforms, to move around the country and look at the capacities we have in our factories, in our textile sector. He has visited Rivertex in, 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 in Eldred. He was in Akuru yesterday. We have gone even to the EBZ zone. What is happening here, and, and I will speak about it bluntly, and let me make this revelation to you. The Inspector General, the PS and myself, have been under pressure by some quangles and all manner of spiffs that we should import police uniform. Listen to me very carefully. We will not import police uniform. Go and write another 10 headlines. We will not import police uniform from any country. We have to promote the local textile industry. Buy Kenya, build Kenya. How are we going to support our cotton farmers? How are we going to support our manufacturers and create jobs in our country? You know, this monkey business that has been going on for a period of time, it, we go to some shadowy corners and agree to import police uniform from some places and create excuses. That we, isn't it simply outrageous that someone is saying we don't have material in Kenya with the kind of textile sector that we have? So why would the government put budget resources to revive river tax and provide jobs in, in, in Eldoret? Then we proceed like fools the following day to import police uniforms from Turkey or from China or from wherever. We have already paid. We are making uniform for our police. And take it to the bank from me. We will not import uniform. No amount of pressure, manipulation or anything will change that position. That style of life has come to an end in Kenya. It has come to an end. And no one is going to live that way. Our uniforms will be made. We have 600 uh, tailors at NYS and huge teams at NYS that are working on this. We'll make the uniforms for our forces in Kenya, create jobs for our people in Kenya, allow manufacturers in Kenya to supply government agencies. Sasa wewe, awakora wako, maali mulikubalia na mutanunua uniform, utaenda uwaelese hivi. Hatu tanunua uniform kutoka kuingine. It's as simple as that. And you can write as many headlines as you want. We will not change that position. Na tuwache kudanganya na hapa. Hii ujeuli must come to an end in this country. We will not do this kind of silly things that people have done over the years and try to mess up our country. We will, import, we will uh, ensure that everything that we need, that we can get in the country, we get it here. That is how we grow our industry. That is how we support our cotton farmers. That is how we support the manufacturing sector. The private sector understands what we are doing. Our president has been firm on this and has been speaking about this. So we can't live any other way. So if you thought that the headline is going to change our mind, now, now you know. Don't bother. Or if you want, you can go and do another 10 headlines, but we are not 